I'm going to share a very heavily guarded secret with you that uh, we recently discovered here at Psychosmos over the last year. Uh, we've done an extensive amount of research as well as practical application and basically the process that I'm about to explain to you is a process that a lot of different cultures have a name for. Um, one of which is enlightenment, another is opening of your third eye. But basically what this process entails is a regenerative and healing process that undergoes throughout your body once a month. I hope you'll stick with me and you'll just hear me out as I explain to you the process that has been modernly coined as the sacred secretion. Once every month, a part of your brain called the claustrum receives an energetic vibrational signal from the external world that signals your body to undergo a healing process. If you've ever been in a biology class, you'll know that your body heals itself in many different ways. There's bone marrow within your bone structure that allows you to create new blood cells. And you also have your immune system, which safeguards you from diseases and viruses that are from the external world that try to get into your body. Once a month when the claustrum inside your brain signals your body to undergo this healing process, a couple of different things happen. Within the area that is centered around the central point of your body, uh, connected to your spleen, which houses a very large portion of your immune system, uh, a specific germ is created. Additionally, two glands within your brain, the pineal and the pituitary gland, both secrete a different type of chemical. During a three-day period, in your body every single month. Your brain secretes these two chemicals and it creates this germ right here in your mid-center chest. What happens is these two chemicals are then sent all throughout your spine. They travel to the base of your spine within your sacral pump. At the coccyx bone and the sacral pump, these two chemicals combine together with good practice such as meditation, yoga, and exercise and eating properly, you can actually bring this chemical combination from the base of your spine all the way up, back up to your brain. If you do it properly, it'll pass through the spleen area of your body, the central point, where it will pick up a part of that germ that is created. And if you put this into practice, you can actually draw this chemical combination up into your brain. In the thalamus of your brain, which is the center point where the pineal gland is located, it'll put enough pressure within, within the fulcrum of your brain to reactivate dormant brain cells and create an excess of what's known as cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF as I'll call it, is essentially one of the most important chemicals that your body creates. It creates blood cells, it houses your brain, and it assists with your immune system. It assists with your reproductive system. It assists with all of the liquids that are within your spine in order to keep your spine aligned, as well as assist in communication all throughout your body so that your body can remain active and physically fit throughout a course of period of time. Many ancient people have studied this and they believe that this was a very important aspect of humanity because if you do it properly, you can essentially heal yourself at a much faster rate, live a longer life, stay looking younger, uh, as well as, once again, reactivating dormant brain cells within the mind, becoming more enlightened or more intelligent, essentially being able to maintain a higher level of memory and information capacity. So that's my crash course on what's known as the sacred secretion. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming out about this concept very soon, but I did wanna get some very heavily science-based information on this process out there. This is not pseudoscience. Uh, it's more so esoteric secrets that a lot of ancient societies and cultures and hidden societies are trying to safeguard because most people wouldn't really put a lot of this information to practical use. You don't have to believe me on this. If you'd like, you can do your own independent research. Uh, there's an author by the name of George Carey. Uh, he has written a book called God, Man, the Word Made Flesh. There's another author, Kelly Marie Kerr. She wrote another book called The God Design. Well, the reason we're bringing it up is because it seems like there's been a lot of research and a lot of effort done to not only figure out this concept, but also keep it hidden. And it's basically a biological link on how we can advance human society and evolution and also heal ourselves as well through a physical means. What I would like to do is bring this to people's attention so that more people can do research and the scientific community can come together and try to figure out if this is a legitimate thing or if this is just a lot of different misinterpretations through cultures and religions all throughout history and time.
Once again, we're going to be coming out with more information on this, so make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below whether or not you have done your own research on this. As far as my own opinion on the matter, not only is there a physical feeling once a month when I do it properly, but I also feel as though my life has actually gotten a lot more positive, and that could be chopped up to a mindset. However, I do believe that there is some credible science to this completely. I feel this physically. I can feel the energy being brought up. I can feel activation in my brain. I feel a lot more lighthearted. I don't get as sad or angry or bitter anymore in my life. I'm a lot happier. And I also feel as though more positive things are coming to me in a, in a very strange and coincidental and synchronistic way. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring this to people's attention because it has helped me. I would like to see if they will help you too. So thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe for more content here at Psychosmos. Take care. So this, this substance comes from your medulla, makes the tri trip down your spine to your sacrum, which is the, which is, quick, get a picture of it. Christ coming down into human form. And if you don't squander that essence, that sexual essence, it ascends again and goes back up to heaven, which is your thing.